Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, now might be an excellent time to get your snacks together to help make this possibly the most enjoyable moment, greatest moment of your life. But in all likelihood, it's probably just another Etho video. Um, I have been hanging out here at the Enderman farm. I did do a few enchantments since last episode. And this sword did survive when I died in that corner the other day, so don't worry about that. Had a few people asking. Uh, so this was a level 50 enchantment, and I got efficiency 3, fortune 2, unbreaking 3. That's kind of strange. Strange that it's fortune 2 instead of 3, and efficiency 3 instead of 4 or 5. Um, but that's still a good pick. Uh, we got uh, diamond boots. I did a level 22 enchantment to get these. You basically have a 1 in 3 chance of getting Feather Falling 4 if you do a level 22 enchantment. And lucky me, I got it first try, which is awesome. Something is going wrong with my computer right now. I hope I'm still recording. Um, I also did a Looting 3. This is a level 50. And I got that. And we're about to do another one. Uh, I'm going to get it ready here. This is just a temporary enchanting station. I set up here. I'm going to check to make sure I'm recording and then I will do the enchantment. We're trying to get protection 4 on our armor suit and I'll show you why in a second. Alright, I finally got a level 50 here for... we're going to do a diamond chest plate. Uh, we're trying to get... what is it? Protection 4. And there's about an 86.4% chance of that. If you're going for... Um, protection 4 on your armor stuff, you probably want to do a level 50 enchantment as much as it hurts. Dang it, man. Ah. Oh, well. I'll have to live with it. So, here's the deal. Uh, with the feather falling boots, I'm just thinking about traveling with ender pearls. Um, so just uh, with my armor on right now, I have. Well, let's just take it all off, and hope for the best here. If we throw an ender pearl with no armor on, we take two and a half hearts damage. So that's fall damage that we're getting. If we put our feather falling on, let's wait to heal up here. It greatly reduces that. Um, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, even more than I thought. So we only took half a heart there. One heart. Hmm, I wonder why it's inconsistent. One heart. When I was doing it before, I thought I got one and a half hearts. Half a heart. Half a heart, half a heart. Hmm. Anyway, uh, another way of reducing fall damage is using armor that has protection on, because that's like a general protection from things like fire and other things that hurt you in the game. Environmental damage and uh, fall damage is included in that, so we should take even less damage with this on. Half a heart, full heart, that's uh, about the same. We need more, I think we need more pieces with protection four on. It's too bad we didn't get it on that. And then I think we could probably travel around with just about no damage at all with ender pearls, which would be really quick. Uh, with this XP pearl farm thing I have here, I'm getting to level 50 in I think under 10 minutes no problem uh, it's it's actually pretty fun killing them too I like it instead of like going AFK to mob farm you're actually putting work into it getting levels with this one which makes it a little more interesting with the 1.2 patch coming out that's gonna change things I think uh, for me it comes out tomorrow from what I hear uh, but when you're watching this it's probably out already and with that, we get the new map heights. So they're 
doubling in height, basically. Which means all mob farms are pretty much going to be half as effective. So pretty much need double the space to get the same amount of mobs to spawn. I'm guessing. I don't know for sure. I haven't tried it. But uh, it's twice the amount of area the game needs to check to place mobs. And that means it's twice as likely it's going to cancel out and not place any. So this will probably be half as effective when that comes out. Don't you knock me off. Um, anyway, we're not going to do another end episode. We're going to go to the other world, the real Minecraft world. I am going to... I don't know what we're doing today. I'll think of something. Okay, so I thought something fun we could do today. Uh, I'm loaded with pearls right now. I thought we might go check out those mountains over there. This is by the cave. Do a little exploring. That's the glowing tree up there. First, I want to do sort of a speed test on the ground here. See how quick we can get around. I have the Feather Falling and Protection 3 on. Um, and as you can see, these don't take damage from the fall damage. Like the, the armor doesn't wear out from it. So it can last forever, basically, if we're, if we're careful. Ooh, getting ahead of myself. That's pretty quick. Should probably throw it a little bit higher though. Yeah, that's cool. So should be fun exploring the mountains with these. Um and I guess uh, we'll get one of these going to start off with. Probably need some food. So the patch is coming out tomorrow. Uh didn't really want to do anything with mob systems today because of that. Um might work on the base a little bit, clean things up if we have time. I really do hope they nerf the iron golems, though, like the iron farming. That is going to be ridiculous if they allow that to pass. Because it sort of just wrecks the fun out of caving if iron loses its meaning. To me, anyway. If they do allow iron golems the farming to work in 1.2. If they don't fix that, I'll probably skip using it for a long time uh, and hope they remove it. I'm not sure. They might have removed it already. Floating island over there. Just because it feels cheap to me and it would wreck the, my enjoyment of the game, I think. Oh, I'm not healing. Mountain biomes would look really good if you uh, take the time to plant some trees around them, I think. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but I've actually accidentally loaded uh, one of my new worlds in 1.7.3. And when it has green grass and you plant trees, and oh, it just looks so good. The land generation is really nice. It's just barren and... And I don't like the color of the grass. Oh, we got prairies over there. Let's head over here. More floating stuff. Uh, with the new mob AI, if you watched my last uh, Minecraft episode, I showed a new mob system I built in SMP. That should work uh, with the new AI, I'm pretty sure. So we will have a mob system that works, that doesn't use pistons, nice and simple one. I'll probably build that in this world, oh, as my first one at least, first mob system because it's nice and simple. Um, getting dark, don't want to explore too, too much, just, uh, I've been curious what's over here. Oh, didn't make it. And I'm gotta gotta get some better food. Uh, yes. Ooh. 
Okay, what do we have? Just gonna take a peek up over here, and then we'll head back and probably start building. Is that a floating island? Uh, no. Hmm. I like it. This is all new, new generation here. I usually don't uh, go too far from where I start in worlds because I don't want to generate a whole lot of land in case they change things with patches. But I think with the new patches, they seem to just withhold the features in older worlds, uh, which keeps them consistent, but then you don't get the new features, like the jungle biomes. I won't be getting jungle biomes, sadly, but at least my world won't uh, have, or it won't look terrible. Okay, I'm going to head back. This was a nice change. Ooh. Rolling hills over here. Very nice. I like it. I think that's the... Uh, I don't know. That might be a new arch I haven't seen. There's definitely one we've been to already. I'm actually kind of lost. I gotta go... Gotta go this way. Too slow, too slow. Ha ha. Alright, let's head back. Alrighty, welcome back home again. I think for the rest of this episode, I'm just going to work on uh, little projects around the place to make things nicer and work better. Um, hmm. Kind of wondering what's going to happen with these guys when 1.2 comes out. I think I. Yeah, they're still there. I haven't checked on them in so long. Need to work on that again. I'm actually surprised I've only found one village in my world so far, because I've covered a lot of ground, really. Anyway, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to install the lighting under our track here, um, so that we don't get spider spawns, and then I'm going to cover it up with the, has with the sandstone slabs. Uh, if we have any carts get stuck in there, I can always get them out using furnace mine carts, so I'm not too worried about covering it up. Uh, yeah. I was thinking maybe adding one of those bread makers down here for the cows. But anyway, I'll do this first and we'll see how it goes. And this is the lighting is just so that uh, don't get spiders spawning under the half slabs. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, and I can't use or I shouldn't use torches for it because we'll get the particle effects through the Half slabs, I think. Yeah, I'm getting particles. Not seeing them, though. Hmm, maybe we won't. Kind of thought they would. Anyway, okay, here I go. Okay, I got that all covered now. Um, I've noticed something here, though. I wanted to sh show you like three of these guys going around at once, but oh, make that four. Having a little issue with 
loading them into the minecarts here. Although it might work now that we have a fourth. But uh, let's see if. Oh, we did right. We got one. Okay. Well, we got one. Let's see if we can get another. Yeah. So they're kind of forcing each other into specific corners. Like uh, this guy is in this uh, this corner here, and then the other ones are in that, in that corner there. So the minecart won't pick them up from this corner, which means I have to be careful of that Oop. when I get the setup uh, that like I might not be able to grab them from the corners because they throw each other off like that. Anyway. Where is he? I know he's around here. There he is. <laughs> oh, it just looks so awesome. I love it. Okay, so I am tempted to work on that today. I don't know how to do it at the moment. I'll have to think about it a bit more. I was kind of thinking of maybe fixing this in the middle here. Um... I'm not sure how I should light this middle part. It's really dark. I either have to put something here, like some kind of object that comes out of the ground, or I would ha maybe make a chandelier whoop, in the ceiling that comes down and lights the middle. Not sure yet. Um, need some more half slabs. Running out of sand quick again. Because I've been converting it to sandstone. I think what I'll do here, I'm going to try to do kind of what DotGam does with his rails. I like the look of it. Uh, where he has the glass all along. And then he puts half slabs on top. I think that's how he does it. You can see down still. And how does it look over here? Hmm. Hmm. It's an idea. I don't know. It needs more light for sure. Um. Might try it without the glass. Okay, yeah, I was thinking about it, and I probably shouldn't put a railing there, even though I do want a railing, just because it's going to block the cow face even more if uh, it goes up at the end there. And even the way I have it right now, it's blocked quite a bit, so I might try lower the center part here a little bit, kind of make a, a semicircle that's lowered, and see how that turns out. And if I do that, I could probably find a way to hide some glowstone or lava or something into it as well. Probably glowstone. We got wood around here. So I'm going to do that. Uh, the very center would be over here. Um, and I haven't forgotten about your suggestions on what I should do about the frame and it being uncentered because it's two blocks there, one block there. And a lot of people said just to stretch it, uh, copy the middle the middle pixels and and duplicate them an extra line in so I think I'll try that today hopefully and uh, I'll copy this line here and stretch it and uh, we'll see how it looks all right let me know what you guys think of this I did uh, I did something here hopefully something good I uh, lowered the middle I was able to sneak in some lighting that way so it looks uh, a lot better. Uh, and I also have some over here. It's kind of kind of expands out, which I like. Uh, I might try put some fences here and here. Oh, I think my sound quit. Oh well. Um, you can see a lot more of the picture this way. 
And yeah, there's still no railing here. Um, let's take a look from a distance. So it's still rough below that, but I should be able to clean that up too sometime soon. And I'd pr probably put another light uh, hidden somewhere around there in the middle so I don't have that dark spot over there. Um, I don't know, it has a little more character than it just being pure flat like it was. And if I go down the stairs like this, I can still continue and run up to the other side, which is good. It has a good flow to it. Um, I was maybe thinking of putting fences here and just seeing how that would look. Probably won't look very good, though. Yeah, it's not going to look good. I know it already. Um, hmm. Fences allow you to see through still, which is nice. And you won't walk off. But they don't really connect to half slabs, so I don't know. Let's look from over here. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. Something to think about, I guess. Okay, so now I'm just going to stretch that cow face. And I'll probably get rid of these. And then we'll see how it looks. You know what? It actually turned out pretty good here. I like it. Uh, I was worried when I changed it, I would have to change it back because it would look a little strange. But it just looks like a fat cow, which nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with fat cows so I think we're gonna keep it good suggestion guys I wouldn't have tried it with if you didn't suggest it um, and now it's symmetrical yay oh it just just makes me feel a lot better um hmm I was gonna try this too is that weird is that weird if I do that I don't know I like to try to give things more character. Eh, I'll try it for a while. Um, one thing I was thinking, 1.2 is actually out for me right now. I'm very tempted to just quit recording here and go play with it. But uh, I have the day off tomorrow, so that's what I will be doing tomorrow probably. Quite a bit. But I was thinking, if I do that fence thing, I might do the upside-down wooden stairs. I think there's upside-down wooden ones, I hope. And put them underneath the fence, and it'll be like an overhang. That might look good. The fence didn't block out too much vision either, so... Just an idea. And I'll round out other things, like over here, for example. I want it to mimic the bottom, where it goes down, up, down, up. But, you know, it looks really chunky compared to the lower part. I'll be able to smooth that out in 1.2, which is good. It's going to be an awesome patch. Looking forward to playing it. Um, as far as the tree farm goes, I don't think I'm going to expand it anymore. Uh, I kind of wish I would have added a little more variety to it, but I didn't expect it to get this big, to be honest. It's huge. Uh, so I'll just keep the walkway around. And then for the newer donors, I'll try to think of something else we can do. I have a few few ideas, but it might be a while before I get around to doing them. So, and the thing I like about this too is it's a, it's a good number. I think it's 200. Uh, 20, 40, no, 40, 80. 120, 160, 200 trees in here, which is good, good size. Um, eventually, I'll have to clean it up some more, fix the ceiling, and do something with that. Um, yeah, got lots of work to do around here. It's good though; it's fun. I like uh, cleaning up the cave and doing stuff like that. Just not all the time. I like building. Or designing things too. It's good to have a good mix. Uh, over here, I still haven't connected this. And I don't know 
what I'm going to do with this in-between space here. I got a whole wall over here pretty much and that little bit underneath here. I have to think about it. Actually, I just checked the time of this episode and it's getting to that point where we should probably wrap it up. So before we do, I just want to do one last thing here with the snow golems. I was trying to find a quicker way of harvesting snow. Because uh, as you know, if you click, you get two snowballs. So if you rapidly click, you get snowballs pretty quick. But I recently wore out a mouse from clicking so much and I would like to avoid clicking more than I need to if possible. Um, so I tried harvesting the snow from a distance. You know how you can break blocks quicker usually doing that. Doesn't work with snow. Same speed as normal. Um, so then I tried setting up two of these guys side by side so that we could maybe aim for the very corner and uh, as this one disappears maybe we'll get that one and it'll speed it up or something but it doesn't happen so I don't know I just know there's a quicker way of doing it can't figure it out though or not today anyway besides clicking like a madman anyway we're gonna wrap up this episode here or end it and uh, going to probably play some 1.2 tonight, maybe play on the Minecraft server a bit. Tomorrow, I'm going to enjoy my day off and play some Minecraft some more. Been a little bit limited on how much I can play in a day recently with my work. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy that. Even on the weekends, I'm usually really busy, so it's not like I have a day off on the weekends to play. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the 1.2 patch. It looks awesome. Lots of neat things in it. I know I'm going to like it for sure. So, take care, guys. Keep playing Minecraft. Keep enjoying it. And thanks for watching.